A great piece of album art can tie an album together, give listeners something to discuss while they groove to the tunes, and provide clues about the inspirations behind the music. Or it can just be an obtuse series of weird random images. So where do your favorite album covers fall on the spectrum? Here's a look at the hidden meaning behind these classic album covers. The White Stripes, Elephant The cover of the classic 2003 White Stripes album Elephant appears to just feature band members Jack and Meg White sitting on a trunk. But in Jason Draper's A Brief History of Album Covers, Jack White claims that no matter what angle you look at it, the cover actually shows the two of them forming the image of an elephant's head. If you study the picture carefully, Meg and I are elephant ears in a head-on elephant, but it's a side view of the elephant too, with the tusks leading off either side. Just keep looking, you're bound to see it eventually. Rihanna, Anti The cover for Rihanna's 2016 album Anti features an artfully out-of-focus image of a child wearing a crown and holding a black balloon against a white and blood-red background, along with some braille messages. It's the work of artist Roy Nockham, who explained to Rolling Stone that he started with a real childhood snapshot of the singer, taken on her first day of daycare at age five. The crown over the eyes is a symbol for the music. Here, I painted the young Rihanna, bringing something new. And the braille image is from a poem called If They Let Us by Chloe Mitchell, which reads in part, I sometimes fear that I am misunderstood. It is simply because what I want to say, what I need to say, won't be heard. Message received. Coldplay, X and Y. Say what you will about Coldplay, but the cover for their 2005 album X and Y is refreshingly weird. With a blue background and some random rainbow-colored blocks that look like somebody made an appetizer out of Lego bricks. It turns out those colorful shapes are actually a graphical visualization of the Badeau code, which was an early telegraph communication system patented by French inventor Emile Badeau in 1870. On X and Y, the different colors and sizes of the blocks correspond to different bits in their letters, which spells out the album's title. The Black Keys, Brothers Sometimes you can sell something by just saying it plain. Black Keys drummer Patrick Carney's brother Michael designed the cover of the 2010 album Brothers. According to the New York Times, Michael suggested the text, reading, This is an album by the Black Keys. The name of this album is Brothers, against a black background. He thought the raw, simple cover reflected a similar sensibility in the band's bluesy, rootsy rock. There's more to it, though, as the cover also references the cover of blues legend Howlin' Wolf's 1969 LP, The Howlin' Wolf Album. Joy Division – Unknown Pleasures A goth rock classic, Joy Division's 1979 debut album Unknown Pleasures wasn't an immediate success, but the record's mysterious cover was thanks to its series of close-set squiggly lines that form mountain-like peaks in the middle. So what do those squiggles mean? Well, album designer Peter Seville explained that they are a visual representation of the radio telescope readings of the first pulsar ever discovered by astronomers, and the image is originally from the 1977 edition of the Cambridge Encyclopedia. Far out. Fleetwood Mac – Rumors one of the most famous album covers of all time belongs to Fleetwood Mac's 1977 effort, Rumors, which features only two of the band's five members, perhaps in reference to the legendary infighting that eventually tore the supergroup apart. What's not in doubt is the symbolism of the pair of dangling balls that hang in front of Mick Fleetwood's crotch. While everyone immediately gets it, what most fans don't know is that Fleetwood's unique style came from an unlikely source, as he drunkenly stole the balls from the flushing chain of an old-timey toilet at a pub while on a bender. The balls he sports now aren't the originals, though, as he eventually had to have a carpenter recreate a replacement pair after the originals got lost during a tour. Pink Floyd – Wish You Were Here Artist Aubrey Powell co-founded a design studio called Hypnosis, which frequently worked with Pink Floyd on album covers, including their 1975 album, Wish You Were Here. According to Powell's book, Vinyl, Album, Cover, Art, Hypnosis's other chief creative, Storm Thorgerson, wanted to visually depict Pink Floyd's cynicism about business and capitalism by illustrating the then-common expression, I've been burnt, which meant someone had been ripped off. In order to create the iconic cover, they hired a stuntman and lit him on fire. Though it wasn't until the 15th shot that the photographer finally got the image they used for the cover. Poor stuntman. Beastie Boys, License to Ill 
legendary producer Rick Rubin revealed in the book 100 Best Album Covers that while making the classic 1986 Beastie Boys album License to Ill, he happened to read the salacious Led Zeppelin biography Hammer of the Gods. In the book, there is a photograph of the Led Zeppelin private jet, and the idea of this cover came from that. The Beastie Boys were just a bunch of little guys, and I wanted us to have a Beastie Boys jet. I wanted to embrace and somehow distinguish, in a sarcastic way, the larger-than-life rock and roll lifestyle. But because the Beastie Boys are the Beastie Boys, there's also another more puerile joke hidden on the licensed ill cover. The plane's serial number is 3MTA3. Held up to a mirror, it reads, Eat Me. David Bowie, Black Star. Visionary artist David Bowie passed away in January 2016, but not before leaving the world with one last epic album, Black Star. Naturally, the cover features the image of a black star, but there is a little more to it than that. According to Jonathan Barnbrook, who designed the cover, the black star was meant to represent a black hole, which was a metaphor for Bowie confronting his own end. Barnbrook told Dezine that the symbol of a black star on white has a sort of finality, a darkness, a simplicity, which is a representation of the music. The idea of mortality is in there, and of course the idea of a black hole sucking in everything, the Big Bang, the start of the universe, if there is an end to the universe. Leave it to Bowie to deliver the ultimate mic drop. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.